Good morning, MNB family. So today is September 16, and it's currently almost 7, 6.50 something. So as of right now, I'm currently pumping. My boobs were crying. <laughs> so um, I just had to pump. Mia is currently sleeping. She has to be waken up in a few moments to drink her breast milk. So um, about 7.30. So, so far it's been four days since Mark hasn't really been home with me. I've been taking care of Mia on my own. It's a struggle, you guys. I'm not gonna lie behind taking pictures on Instagram and posting it may look like it's so easy. In reality, it's very, very difficult with her. She's a light sleeper and she has a weird, I guess, adjustment to how she's supposed to be sleeping, feeding every two to three hours and sleeping, waking up again. Waking up is definitely a struggle. She does not want to open her eyes. She likes to pout her lips together. So it's a little difficult for me to put a bottle nipple in her mouth. Um, Mia has been still be drinking three ounces. There are times where she has to eat in between, which is like between an hour and a half. Um, it's a little weird it kind of doesn't seem like i should be giving four ounces because i feel like she'll still waste it because after three ounces there are days where she is leaving like two ounces left so she'll drink an ounce and leaves two ounces behind um, with the formula I've been giving her half and half, not as much as breast milk because I am producing a little bit more. I can't say that it's very consistent, but I've been making enough for her to drink. So yeah, Mia is trying to adjust to a lot of things which I am frustrated still because I just don't know how to cope with it. I've learned that I do have postpartum depression and they don't really tell you that until you actually feel it. I've been okay at most points, like as right now, I feel okay. After a while, I would feel very, very depressed. It's, it's not something that I would want to talk about but I rather because not everyone talks about it so I've been dealing with depression since the day that Mark has gone back to work which was on Monday so it's been four days I've been crying here and there I've been trying to cope with my feelings learn to accept and also grow from it because it is just a postpartum just a small portion of feeling like this because i don't know what is there to come at me and i just have to go and just experience it myself so i had my cousins talk to me about it they have been through it and they understand so it makes me feel better but again being alone it's so so hard so i would you know shed a tear or two i would talk to mark about it i broke down to mark yesterday but i think that's all the process of trying to get back on my feet and learning what's different now so um i can't i can't be really upset the fact that this had happened because i am definitely happy it's just that this is not what i you know would thought that i would walk into being depressed being alone being isolated 
just feel like I can't do anything for those moms that probably are feeling that type of way after pregnancy so to all the moms that probably are going through depression anxiety stress that you're not alone i with you and i'm trying my hardest to just be on my feet and just give all the strength that i have that way i can make it through the day so that's pretty much a really big struggle so please don't mind the lighting um it's a little dark in the room and sun is coming out soon last night it was raining which was really really nice but today it might be a little hot muggy so yesterday um mark went to go buy me some lactation cookies thank you to all the mamas who have told me about this particular brand it's from target the munchkin brand um the these mamas told me that it has worked for them um and so i told mark yesterday can you go and get me some cookies let's see if there will be an increase in my milk supply i i do make enough it's just not enough for you know like for a duration of the time so he bought me some i ate a pack last night they're super super good let me show you guys what it is okay so if you guys hear the machine it's just the machine that's trying to pump my tit so um i'm gonna be using one hand because i have my other hand on my boob okay so this is what it is so this is the munchkin milk maker lactation cookie bites and there's 10 bags in here i got mine's an oatmeal chocolate chip cookie this one tastes so really so so good and um i'm gonna be eating another pack today that way i can be consistent with it and see if it does work it is a bit pricey so um sometimes you just gotta see what works for you if it doesn't work then don't buy it at all but it was like 23 dollars 21.99 and but whatever the tax is very ridiculous and um thankfully mark got got the box instead because he told me that he was gonna grab like individual baggies which no like i like i need more than that and hopefully it does work out but um i've seen on youtube there's some women that say it does help their milk supply within like a week or so but we'll see everyone's a lot different from others um i really like this one is because there's fiber in it so i still have a hard time going i've been super super gassy so this one has um some fiber three grams of fiber um i'm not worried about the sugar anymore um, my doctor told me that i can eat whatever i want the same diet that i usually had before and there is five grams of protein so which is really good so this has 270 calories and yeah i'm very very conscious of how it tastes like it tastes so good but yeah so it'll be this one so I also wanted to mention through this whole pregnancy, I've been into a lot of crystal healing. Um, it's very addicting. And so I do have four right now butterflies that are crystals. They all have different meanings. Well, no, they all have same meanings. They're the butterfly agates. And they just kind of calms me i do have more at home and i did order more so um i kind of hold that as like a protection slash comforting thing and it does help me feel a lot better but yeah you guys um postpartum depression i don't know if i could say that on youtube but it's no fucking joke some people may not feel it but i do at first when my cousins my cousins were telling me about it i was like no i don't think i'll have that like i'm totally fine like i'm a i'm a really humble laughable and you know sociable person i don't think i could ever be that type of person that would cry 
or like you know have these guilt feelings suicide feelings and all of that doubtful doubts but now it's like it really hit me to where i'm like oh my god like you gotta be kidding me i wish i didn't feel this way but this is how your hormones would change you and i've even told mark like if i'm gonna be a bitch it's not that's not who i am it's just my hormones if i don't answer you or if i say mm, i'm not mad at you i'm not upset about anything it's just my hormones are changing so there's a lot of things that i'm trying to adjust readjust and block out negativity i don't want it and having the healing crystals help so i got a few more that i kind of ordered so i ordered i believe amethyst um what was that other one i can't even think i still have the pregnancy hormone cells i can't even remember anything it's ridiculous um but yeah they're just like butterflies and they have different meanings to it but the ones that i have right now are just plain agates they're all one one um property for those so another thing too um we did invest a baby monitor we definitely needed a baby monitor because during when mia sleeps mark comes home from work showers settles in me and him like to go eat dinner on the table together and talk stories so he did purchase a VTech baby monitor so it looks like this it's one of the inexpensive ones i really don't fancy the ones that have the cameras because i'm just like that and this has worked wonders all you have to do is link it to the other monitor that is for baby and then turn it on and we can hear her or him cry um the white noise is really really good you don't you don't really hear it you hear loud and clear of baby's tone of the voice so and that is a really good thing it's also rechargeable so that's another plus and we got ours from Target, which was like 20 bucks. So you can't really go wrong with 20 bucks. Another exciting news for Mia, she has outgrown a newborn pampers. I had a feeling that the pampers, the newborn pampers were just too tight on her. Um, the reason why how I knew was because between her legs, her thighs, there would be red marks. So they look like something that was compressing onto her skin for a very long time and that was her diaper so we switched it up to size one so she's officially a size one diaper baby um she has grown ridiculously longer i feel um i had mark measured one night i think it was like tuesday night or something and he had a measuring tape and i was like oh my god did she get a little bit longer and he's like yeah i think so so he went to go and check with his measuring tape and it said 20 inches so there's a there's a possibility that she's growing while she's with me and i think that's true i feel it so i'm still pumping i'm still at a four and i think I think I'm gonna just have to stop stop that portion it does get really sore if you do pump a long time like how I just did um, it usually takes me about like 20 minutes now to actually pump but I usually go longer because I know that there's more in there I don't want blockage because that's what happened to my left one there is a huge blockage and it was so 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 painful so I don't want to go through that again I'm always excited to see milk production because it just gives me more, I guess, rewarding feelings, I guess. So this is what my milk today looks like. So we are at, yeah, four ounces. So 
I'm very, very, very proud of myself for pumping. Um, there's probably people that don't like the idea of pumping, but I'm going to be honest, my tits bleed, so I'm not going to try and feed my kid blood. So <laughs> we're going to do the pumping instead. she goes back to sleep in a few moments so I can eat some breakfast finish pumping and just time to relax hopefully um, she will be in a good mood today so I'm gonna cut this video short you guys because this is practically my day this is how every day is Eating, burping, eating, burping, sleeping, burping. Nothing has really, really changed. So, so yeah, Mia is wide awake. Hi. Hi. We got some maka maka pia pia up in there. You, my little pout pout fish. So, she's a little milk wasted. I don't know if you guys can tell but I feel like her face got a little bit more fat oh you smiling smiling with your angels mm -hmm. yeah wow tell everybody thank you for watching yeah thank you for watching don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Turn on your post notifications to let you guys know when we do upload a new video. And we'll soon get more content. She does have another appointment on the 22nd, so um, we'll be definitely recording that one. And yeah, say goodbye. Bye-bye.